lovelies. My name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Hilarity. Today I'm going to tell you about an experience that I had two days ago. Um, today is just the first day that I felt oh, well enough to even go through explaining it all. Um, but as you guys knew, because I just put out a video a little bit before that, I haven't been feeling great. And I felt really off that morning. I got up actually around 11, which is unusual for me lately. Um, and I'd been up till, you know, probably like 7 or 8 that morning. So I should have slept a lot later, but I didn't really think anything of it. I felt pretty sick, but I thought actually there was something wrong with Bella. She was acting very strange. She was at my mouth a lot which is what she does when she's not feeling well, is what I'm thinking. Um, and I actually, I remember telling my parents that I didn't think she felt well. And my mom was like, well, that's weird. Like this morning when we saw her, she seemed fine. And I said, yeah, I know, me too. And, um, and I said, uh, and she was like, you know, walking around at that point when I was staying in, she's like, well, she looks fine now and everything. And I was like, I know, it's really weird. So I went back and I think I slept for a little bit more and then I woke up again and um, I came out and I was like, you know what, I'm feeling like well enough that I should, you know, jump in the shower and my dad for a couple days has been mentioning that I need my sheets changed because um, in our family we're sheet changing people like I pretty much, pretty much every week or every other week. Um, of course, that's not the case for me usually, um, just because I have to be able to get out of my bed for long enough for that to be the case. And so a lot of times I'll ask my mom to put sheets on my bed if I go take a shower because I also am like a little weird OCD in certain aspects and like I don't like getting into dirty sheets when I've just taken a shower. Um, but I wanted to brush, oh, well, brush my hair, wash my hair and like that whole thing. So I was in the shower and I just remember feeling a little bit off. And then I got really hot all of a sudden. And um, I remember thinking, don't mind me, that was like pushing into me. I remember thinking you're getting overheated. Cause like that's, it, it kind of like when it first struck, it kind of felt like heat stroke when I'd had heat stroke before. And then I, I've never experienced this before. So excuse me if I get kind of confused telling you or trying to explain what it felt like, because I've actually never felt this before ever or experienced this before. I can only tell you what it was similar to, but it really was not similar to like anything I've been through but I'll tell you like the best I can I felt extremely dizzy but to the point where I think I turned the shower off but I luckily in this bathroom here I have a big um, handicap railing on the side of the tub so I grabbed a hold of that and I grabbed a hold of um, there's a towel bar inside the shower and I grabbed a hold of that. Uh, but I couldn't, I was like kind of over and I yelled for my mom and luckily in this house you can hear a lot better. Um, and she was like, yeah. And I said, I'm really dizzy. And, uh, and she was like, okay, let me get like, you know, she didn't really know what was going on. Like dizzy, I mean... I get dizzy, you know, all the time, like, especially being in bed and laying down so much, like, you get head rushes, and, um, I faint a lot, and, like, I get, I don't drink very much, so I get dehydrated a lot, like, I'm dizzy a bunch, um, but this was, like, way different, I couldn't get my bearings, and I felt like I was on a rocking boat, like, it wasn't, like, dizziness that kind of makes you, like, like, sick to your stomach. It was, like, for me at least, and I know this feeling very well, this is the, bit, the closest I can think to it, but, like, majorly worse, is, like, when you've been at the ocean all day and you've been in the water all day and then you go and lay down 
and it still feels like you're in the waves but it's not like it wasn't a pleasant feeling like that but it did feel like my body was there was movement when it wasn't like it felt to me like my eyes were going back and forth I don't think they were or else I think that would really disturb my mom but my mom said I was saying very strange things to her I don't remember saying weird things to her I remember kind of being out of it because I remember one of our dogs was in my room but maybe he wasn't because normally he's not none of the other dogs come in my room and I remember when I was petting the other dog um, I remember thinking, whoa, this feels like when you pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time, except for I was just petting him. So I think that I was really disoriented. And at this point, my mom had gotten me out of the shower, like, I don't actually know, towels. And I think I was in like a robe or something. I don't know. All I remember is I got safely to my bed, which is all I was concerned about. And, um... Yeah, so I think I was really feeling like I was moving a bunch, and so petting him felt like a lot of coordination. I don't know. So I did start to settle down as far as feeling dizzy and whatnot. My mom gave me, because I, when I go to the doctors sometimes when they take blood, because I have such a rational fear of um, needles and I'm dehydrated a lot, um, and if, they're, if I'm there for quite some time sitting after I get a shot and I still feel like I'm going to faint when I sit up, um, they'll sometimes ask if I want juice. So I asked my mom if I could have some juice, some orange juice, because my dad makes orange, fresh orange juice here in Florida. And um, so I, I drank a bunch of that and then I also had a water too. But it didn't seem to get much better. And then when I woke up later that night, I had, um, do you know when like you, when someone takes a camera with flash and you can kind of like see the flash afterwards? It was like that, but it was um, lines in my vision. So that was not normal. And I'd never experienced that before. And I still felt very out of it, but I could definitely walk. Like, I walked over to my parents and wasn't worried at all. And I talked to them about it, and that's when my mom was like, yeah, you were saying some really weird stuff. But one of the things that we were talking about is uh, Bella had actually growled at my mom, and it upset me when she told me that because Bella's not allowed to do that, and it's, she's not really in her nature. But I guess Bella was sitting on me, protecting me, because she knew that something was wrong with me and she was up at my mouth and that's what she does when she alerts me to when like I'm gonna have a panic attack or if she knows I'm gonna be really sick um, she gets very worried and she protects she gets in like a protective mode and she gets into my mouth um, so I think that's why and I said to my mom, you know what? That's why I thought she was sick. It was actually me. And I didn't realize it because when you have fibro, it's like, I mean, you have so many symptoms. It's like, who knows what's going on? But she did know that something major was going on. I still don't know what it even was, but um, I still didn't feel right the next day. Um, I, I would say I still don't even feel right, but um, who knows, you know, like, I, my fibros started to flare, and, um, my digestion hasn't been great lately, and, you know, so there's been a bunch of other stuff that hasn't made me feel very good, um, but I still feel, like, almost like a lightheaded feeling, but not, it's really weird, I don't know, but, I've never had anything like that ever happen and afterwards it really scared me because my grandmother had, um, and of course now I'm going to forget the name of it, um, not vertigo but um, Meniere's, I think that's what it's called. Um, and so I mentioned that to my mom because I was kind of thinking like what age was she when that started happening and stuff because I know that my mom brought, talks about it a lot because of the treatment that she got because we talk about how like everybody's treatment is so different and how and 
for this particular thing, she got really weird treatment for it, and um, it worked really great for her. And it's just like we always talk about how, like, it was that's so weird, you know? And um, so that's the only reason I remember that she even had it, because I don't, act, like, actually remember her, like, having it or having to lay down because of it or, like, anything like that. Um, but I was kind of like, you know, my first, right now, anything that happens, like, my mind always goes to, like, what's the worst case scenario that's going to happen, you know, because of just, like, that being so traumatized by my mouth situation. Um, but she was like, no, you know, that's not the same thing. And, um, but what I told my mom was, is that I've been having such stomach problems lately. I've been so sick to my stomach. And, but when I was going through all of that, I remember thinking it was really weird that I didn't feel sick at all. Like, it wasn't the type of dizziness that I'm used to or have ever experienced before because usually that makes me feel really sick. Any kind of dizziness. Like, it's like why I didn't like to drink too much because if I drank too much and, like, you know that when you, you get the spins, that's what they call it. Like, you lay down and you get the spins, like... I would throw up, like, immediately, like, and not stop for the whole night. Like, I was not fun to be around if I drank too much. Um, just because of that. Like, I could be completely fine. And sometimes I would stay up just so I wouldn't have to, like, lay down and feel that. And um, same with, like, dehydration or when you, like, get overheated. Um, I would get, like, the spinning feeling and then it would make me feel really sick. Um... So I don't even know, like, even when I was going through this dental surgery, the um, sublingual, uh, I think that's how you say it, uh, anti-nausea medicine that they gave me made me feel a bit dizzy when it first started working, and that's why I would, like, immediately start throwing up, like, a ton. Um, an anti-nausea medicine, I know, go figure. But anyways, um, so yeah, I don't know what was going on, but... I've been meaning to tell you guys and to kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to get back to people that are texting me right now and whatnot because I don't want to be like, you know, this awful thing just happened to me and then everyone was, is like, well, what happened? And I'm just like, I don't even have the energy to tell the story of what happened or like, I'm not, not even a fifth of the detail that I could go into, but it was just, it's just been really exhausting. Like, it's almost how I feel after I have a, ma like, major migraine. It's just, like, it takes me a, a few days to, like, a week to really be with it again. And I just kind of don't have much control over my emotions. And I just feel really slow and confused and have trouble with my words. Um, last couple days I've had a lot of trouble with my words and thinking of them and putting words together in sentences and so, um, I'm actually very surprised that I've been able to tell the story as well as I have, so that's actually making me feel a lot better, um, and thinking that I'm, you know, feeling better, so, because I haven't actually been able to even, like, tell a story or talk for this amount of time since it's happened and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and let everyone know that's kind of what was going on. And if anybody needs to know about what happened, I'm just going to be like, can you just go watch my video that I did on it? <laughs> um, instead of having to like explain the whole thing, cause you know, my sister called last night and um, left a message, and I listened to her message in the dark. But I was like, I just, I can't even talk for like a couple minutes. Um, but uh, I think my friend Lindsay asked what had happened, and I was just like, oh crap! I wish I had, I wish I hadn't even said anything happened. You know, like that's it. I mean, you know, like, I want to talk to my friends about it and everybody about it, but it's just, like, I'm so exhausted. Like, now I just feel like I could just collapse. I'm so exhausted just from talking to my camera for ten minutes. Like, hmm. But I'm really missing you guys and loving your comments. And I am really 
loving the people that are um, starting to watch my videos and going back and doing what I call painful hilarity marathons and starting from the beginning and um, I think that's really cool and uh, I'm, I, it's, I think it's really neat getting to know you guys and um, seeing your little comments that you guys read and all that kind of stuff is really fun and exciting for me and so I really like it. So leave a comment. Um, probably the next video I do, if I remember, I'll be asking for questions from you guys um, to do a Q&A that I'll probably do unedited as far as now because if I do anything that I plan on editing, then it's just like I'm never going to put it up or never edit it. So I don't want to put that pressure on myself. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for all your comments and suggestions and love when I asked what videos you guys wanted. Um, as usual, you guys were not very helpful and being specific now you were, and I have a pretty good idea. Um, but yeah, I just still love that you guys throw me in the support. It's um, been awesome, and it's really made me feel a lot better and rejuvenated my spirit for putting these videos up. And so I've been wanting to put ones up, but yeah, that episode just really was what's been on my mind and what I want to talk to you guys about. I couldn't really like make a video talking about mob wives episode, although don't get me started. No, I don't have the energy. But uh, yeah, I just couldn't do it because I was like exhausted. Plus, all I wanted to tell you guys was about that and why I was so exhausted. Um, but I hope you guys are having a pretty, pretty stress free day. Please leave me comments letting me know how you're doing. If you've ever experienced anything like that, or if you've ever experienced anything strange and like really scary like that like one time never experienced it before um tell me your war stories down uh, below and i love you guys and talk to you soon